guys, it's about 6 a.m. Headed out to Agora this morning uh, to meet up with my friend Michael Axon, who's got uh, a dozen English cars, some really beautiful examples of English design, classics, new cars, a variety of things. And we're gonna be taking a couple of these cars to Supercar Sunday this morning, uh, check out some of the incredible cars that they always have at that show. And then after that, we're going to Van Nuys to the Woodley Park English, all English car show. Sorry, the camera's a little wobbly this morning. So it's pretty much a day full of cool cars, English style. Good morning, Fireball. Uh, what are we doing today? Two things today. We're going to go to the world famous supercar Sunday. We're yes. going to hang out for an hour and a half, maybe get something to eat. And then we're going off to the once a year Queen's English in Woodley Park. The, the all English car all show. All English. And we're taking a couple of beautiful uh, English ladies with us today. Absolutely. Or are they taking us? They're taking us. They're taking us a very young, yes. sporty McLaren MP412C. And then the old girl, very, very <laughs> the experienced. Seasoned, the, the seasoned, seasoned old girl. Correct. The Jaguar Be very careful how you yes, say that. Okay. Yes, all right, let's go. <laughs> Seven steering wheel. Yeah, that's squared up. That's like a 177 show car. What do you think? Right. <laughs> and the hard part. It's poetry. It is. Dustin, stunning. Dustin yeah. Tryon from uh, Supercar Sunday. What's up, buddy? Hey, Tim. Good. 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 See you. Good. So, what do you think of this this Aston behind us? I think you know what. He also has a turbo S cap. You couldn't seem to get out of it. I mean, it is, it's just beautiful. It's incredible. Uh, Fit and finish, it's gorgeous. You guys moved, so you're in a slightly modified location as opposed to the yes. last time I was here. We always have to move around a little bit depending on seasons and depending on demands of the mall. Uh, right. And uh, we appreciate the partnership with Westfield, an incredible organization. Fantastic. You know, so we move around a little bit. Same yeah. property, yeah. Uh, same people, same they, thing. They got enough space that they could shuffle you all year long yeah. and you'd still have space. Yeah, we have a great working relationship. Uh, LAPD's always here. I, I'm a president of the board and for LAPD and I'm the sheriff's board. Love law enforcement, always have a great presence. What's, what's the secret to a successful car show? Because there's a lot of people out there that start their own shows across the country and, and they do small shows with clubs and then they do something epic like what you've achieved here for the last 
last 15, 16 years? Um, you know, when I got started, there wasn't a lot of other shows. So I'm lucky that I have a lot of goodwill with a lot of people. And with me, what you see is what you get. I'll tell you to straight, I'll hardly have them all. Yeah, I'll be very polite. And uh, if I have to get firm, which I prefer not to have to do. But most people are respectful and courteous and appreciate that I take care of everything. I take the trash home, lease, permits, rent, all that stuff. And uh, all these people are my extended family. Yeah, you, you, know? gotta, you gotta love it. And uh, I, pre I, I listen. I thank everyone for coming. I shake everyone's hand. And it's the people that come that make an event great. And yeah, I know that and recognize that. So just well, like you, you've well, been we, for years. We appreciate right? you. You have your deal. Yeah, we, you know, right. it's, we're it's at Supercar Sunday. This is Reza, and um, some people bring in cool cars, you know, that are that are nominally cool. Right. But you brought in something that I'm very passionate about. Uh, tell me a little bit about this car and how long you've had it. Well, I love this car, so I fell in love and I had to have it. What is it? A 599 Ferrari. Oh, yes. Very sexy <laughs> GT car. I, I would have a really hard time focusing driving this car because you just you, you feel this overwhelming sense of love. Right. You know. Well, I just like the lines on it. Yeah. And I like the power. And since it has an Enzo engine, so that kind of uh, appealed to me. Yeah. You put 100 octane. Be careful. <laughs> because and you know that's from experience. Yes. Be yeah. careful. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's the experience. I haven't gone crazy with it. I yeah. just love it too much to. You, you gotta do respect anything. the ladies. You gotta respect them. You can't. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm not doing what I used to do. <laughs> <laughs> you get older, you get a little wiser. But yes. Awesome. Yes. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Looking good today, lots of very cool rides here at Supercar Sunday. I just want to drive them all. Oh, doggies. Supercar Sunday. That was a blast. Big thanks to Dustin. Always puts on a great show. Now it's time to head over Woodley Park for the English Car Show. It's an English Car Day.
lots of English cars. Oh, Bob Amaral, if you're watching right now, I haven't found any minis yet. None. There's no minis whatsoever. But I'm gonna keep looking. largest turnout of English cars I think I have ever seen. I can't believe that there's this many working functioning English cars in Southern California at all. I mean it's epic. There's, they're absolutely everywhere. There's English car coolness everywhere. You gotta get a bigger garage. I know, I'm getting homesick. Maybe, maybe I make England my garage. <laughs> This is the kind of bus that Michael went to school in. I doubt it was ever empty like this. No, no, full of screaming kids. And then what did you do when uh, when you got to school? So we'd hang off the back end, and we'd all dare each other to jump off before the start of your legs got tense. Did, did, did anyone do an El Rolo? Yes, of oh, course. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> grazed our arms. And, yeah, absolutely, yes. Excellent. That was a blast. I An think the camera blast. may be shaking a little bit because my adrenaline is flowing. But I, you know, I thought that the McLaren uh, was uh, spirited, but you were you were like the wind. I was holding off a little bit. You were like God. It was really cool. We had a Corvette that was trying to keep up with us, and it, it wasn't happening. No, no, he couldn't keep up with the 1953 Jaguar. So yeah, hey. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Michael. That Thank was you. awesome. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, big thanks to Michael uh, at the English Car Company. You know, just hand over a $150,000, $200,000 car to some dude and let him drive it. It takes faith. It takes faith to, to share and things like that. And when you have a lack of fear like Michael does in many ways, uh, you succeed. You succeed in a lot of areas. The challenge is that people have fear in just certain areas of their life and then they have success and confidence and faith in other areas. And the goal, and that's what we're trying to help you do on this particular show, is to balance those things out so that you have faith across the board. I'll visit myself. 
one way to be able to achieve that is to hang out with people that are strong in faith and, and strong in areas that uh, that you want to improve in. And that's important. Uh, it's important to pick your friends wisely and stop hanging out with uh, people that, that look at things in a negative sort of way, in a, in a way that's not uh, the direction that you want to be going. That's important. That's an important thing to, to ponder. But we've had several big, really, really big days, so I haven't had a chance to talk to you guys too much towards the end because there's not a lot of time. So we'll catch up with that. We'll have a little bit of philosophical convo coming up. But for now, big thanks, Michael. Had a great time at all these events. God, I didn't think there was that many English cars in this in the state, let alone running English cars. Learn something new every day. We'll see you guys tomorrow.